Now the concept of mass percent. Mass percent can be obtained by looking the following relation. Mass percent is equal to mass of the solute divided by the mass of solution times 100. Now let's solve the problem to understand in a better manner. So problem 9 is asking a solution is prepared by adding 2 gram of a substance A to 18 gram of water. Calculate the mass percent of the solute. So what we do, mass percent of the substance A can be written as mass of A divided by the mass of solution times 100 that we have done. So mass of A is given as 2 gram, right? And mass of the solution is 2 gram for the solute and 18 gram for the water. So overall for the solution 2 gram plus 18 gram times 100. This is giving you 2 gram on the top and in the denominator 20 gram. So we will need 200. So, we will cancel out this one 0 and 0. So, this is giving you 10. So, calculate the mass percent of the solute. So, mass percent of solute is 10. Simple. Now, let's move on to the concept of mole fraction. Mole fraction is Represented as the ratio of number of moles of a particular component to the total number of moles of the solution. So this is the number of moles of a particular ratio of the number of moles of a particular component to the total moles of the solution. So if a substance A, for example, dissolves in substance B and the number of moles are Na and Nb respectively, then the mole fraction of A and B can be given in the following manner. Mole fraction of A can be represented as the number of moles of A divided by the number of moles of the solution. So number of moles of A is Na from here divided by the number of moles of solutions where both the solvent and solutes are there. So this is Na plus N. Now mole fraction of B in the similar manner can be expressed as NB divided by Na plus N. What is molarity? This is a concentration unit. How can we define? It can be defined as the number of moles of the solute in 1 liter of the solution. So molarity can be expressed as number of moles of solute divided by the volume of solution in liter. Okay. Now with this idea, let's solve a problem which is asking, calculate the molarity of sodium hydroxide in the solution prepared by dissolving its 4 gram in enough water to form 250 ml of the solution. Let's see how can we do that. So let's first write the concept or the definition of molarity. So what do you know that? It is the ratio of number of moles of solute divided by the number of the volume of solution in liters. Right? So here the number of moles of solute that is sodium hydroxide can be also written in the following manner that is mass of Sodium hydroxide divided by the molar mass. We know that from the concept of moles, we can write the moles, number of moles in the following manner as well. That is mass of the solute divided by the molar mass of the solute. Molar mass of NMH in this case divided by the volume of solution in the in liter. Here it is given as 250 ml. 
So if you convert it in liter, it will be 0 0.250 liter. Now, mass of sodium hydroxide is given as 4 gram and the molar mass of sodium hydroxide, we know that it is 23 plus for oxygen it is 16, that is NaOH. For sodium it is 23, oxygen 16 and for 1 hydrogen it is 1. It will come out as 40. So we can use the molar mass of NaOH as 40 gram, right? Divided by 0 0.250 liter. If you solve, it will get 0 0.4 per mole for the molar area 0 0.4 molarity. So the molarity of the solution is 0 0.4. Simple. You just need to remember the formula or the definition. Now, molarity, another concentration unit. How can we define? It is defined as the number of moles of the solute which is present in 1 kg of solvent. So, molarity, which is denoted as a small m, whereas molarity was de uh, denoted as capital M. So, molarity is denoted as small m is equal to the number of moles of solute divided by the mass of the solvent in kilogram. So here we are not using the total entire solution but in the denominator we are on, only having the solvent, right? So let's solve this problem in order to better understand the concept of molarity. So the uh, problem 11 is asking the density of 3 molar solution of NaCl is 1.25 gram per ml. Calculate the molarity of the solution. So to do this, we have the information as this is a 3 molar solution. So mass of sodium chloride in 1 liter solution can be written as 3 times 58.5. This is the molar mass for sodium chloride. It is 58.5 we have already seen, right? This is giving you the value of 175.5 gram. Now, mass of 1 liter solution can be written as 1000 times 1.25 because we know that this is our volume and this is our density. Okay? And since the density is given here, so it is coming out as 1250 gram. Now we have to calculate the mass of water. Mass of water that is the solvent because it is based the mole concept of molarity. Molarity is based on the solvent only not the solution. So we have to calculate the mass of the solvent only that is water here as it is coming out as 1250 minus 175.5 This is the mass of the solution and the mass of the solute was calculated as 175.5 So if you subtract these two values you will get the mass of the solvent which is 1074.5 gram or in terms of kg you can write 1.0745 kg. And now we will write the formula of molarity. Molarity is equal to number of moles of solute 
divided by the mass of something E. Very simple. 